All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be doing a video on another roguelike that I actually really like called Enter the Gungeon. This is gonna be a beginner's guide with some tips and tricks and strategies that I wish I had known when I first started. Um, you know, this game, if FTL is my favorite roguelite of all time, this is probably my second favorite roguelite of all time. Um, they have the same mechanics, you know, permadeath, you go on a run, you get items, you die, you lose it all, start over, right? RNG, oops, random generation, right? Um, but other than that, the games are very different. This is a dungeon crawling action bullet hell roguelite, um, so pretty different. And at, whereas in FTL, it's pretty much just all strategy and a little bit of skill, obviously. This game is pretty much all skill. Um, and if you can't dodge the bullets, you're going to be in trouble. So I just want to say, if you're bad at this game and you're trying to get better, you just got to practice. You just got to play the game. You're going to die over and over. I was so ass when I first started. It was a disaster. But now I have like 170 hours in the game. Um, and I've played it a ton. I have almost everything unlocked. There's some end game stuff that takes a little longer. But everything relevant I pretty much have. So practice is key. But there are a ton of tips and hidden mechanics that you might not know. So we're going to be exploring some of those. I'm going to play a run and hopefully everything goes well. Um... Just gonna say quickly, there are some spoilers in this just because I have so much unlocked, like hidden characters, hidden bosses, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I, I don't know what to do about that. So if you don't wanna get spoiled, turn away. Um, but there is there is gonna be some of that, so just get ready. Um, loading up here, among all the characters, I think the Hunter is your best bet. I think it's the best one in general, but also the best one uh, for new players. Starts with the pistol. Uh, the, like the default you know pistol and the crossbow which the crossbow is actually pretty decent first two floors after that it's kind of garbage but that's all you really need it for anyways and starts with the dog who is just occasionally free items right so i think the especially because of the crossbow the hunter is a really good character to pick the other characters are not far behind the convict and the marine are pretty okay as well for different reasons i think the pilot is the worst character mostly because of his crappy ass starting weapon um the rogue special you know it, it doesn't matter that much right eventually after like the first fucking floor you're, you're not using that anymore right but my strategy and a good strategy i think actually depends on your starting loadout quite a bit and we'll get into that when i actually start the run so the pilot is kind of hindered a lot in that regard but having said that we're going to jump in as the hunter not even going to talk about the, anything else you see over there don't worry about it um and we're just going to jump into the gungeon so right off the bat there's a couple things to touch on. Always explore the whole floor, okay? There's no reason not to. If you're about to die and you're like, I don't wanna check out this room, you're probably gonna die anyways on like the next floor. So just just send it, just explore the whole room. You never know what you're gonna find. Um, I'm not gonna be going through like every minute detail of what I'm doing right. You know, I'm just playing the game, surviving, but I am gonna give tips and observations on what I'm doing. So uh, a, a good first thing to note, as the hunter especially but in general the crossbow is good but there's no reason to not ever use your starting pistol on the first floor it's more than sufficient yes it's garbage but so are all the enemies here so just use your your starting gun um and as for actually combat you know if you got the game you played the tutorial right you can flip tables you can dodge roll right um but a couple quick things dodge rolling is obviously super duper essential but it can get you into a lot of binds that you don't really want to be in um, if you're not careful with where you dodge roll. So because of that, I think um, you should actually rely on strafing and moving through bullets a lot more. And it takes practice. It's hard, right? I get it. But being able to just walk through bullets, especially on bosses you'll see me do, makes it so you have so much more control of your character and you don't take as much damage. And uh, during bosses, in case you didn't know, if you don't take any damage, you get a free hp upgrade so it's super duper helpful um let's continue on here another good uh tip is don't get close to enemies you know there's it's the gungeon right you got guns aka long range so there's no reason to stay close it gives you a couple benefits one it gives you way more time to dodge bullets right as they fly through the air which is the obvious reason but two it also helps you improve your aim over time um just by playing because if you're point blank, I mean, you don't even have to aim, right? But if you've got to snipe them a bit, then it can help out a lot. So, 
Um, those are some basic things just to look out for. Also, always stay moving. Like, at least just a little bit. You know, I could just stand here, right, and just shoot them and then dodge. But being able to move just gives you so much more mobility and can help with so much. Um, I would definitely recommend all, being on your toes. Don't Try not to stand still if you can. Um, but, yeah, so that, those are some good uh, guidelines just to kind of start off with, I would definitely say. As for loot, we haven't really gotten any chests yet, which is obviously normal. A big thing I do, which is I think one of the best ways to succeed on your runs and get the best out of your luck and RNG, do not open any chests or anything until you beat the boss slash, at the very least, explore the whole floor, right? Keys, they used to, when the game first came out, they were like literally super fucking rare. They're a little bit less rare now. Um, and every shop on every floor is guaranteed to have at least one. So you can always count on that. You'll pretty much always have two on the starting floor. Since you start with one, you can pick one up at the store. So that's good. Um, but having said that, you know, opening chests is important, but you can maximize the value you get out of them quite a bit more if you actually wait just a little bit. All right, I'm going to switch to the crossbow just to kill this guy a bit. There we go. Um, save this HP. Love to see it. Let's check out our store here. So there's going to be a key. There it is. They have two. Nice. Our machine. Nothing really too helpful here. Um, so with... Well, here. We'll talk about chests more when we get there. But the, the basic principle is I do something called gun forcing. Um, that's what most people call it. And the way it works is essentially if you do not pick up any guns on the entire floor, the boss is guaranteed to drop a gun. Now, there are passive items that are good. However, on average, having a gun, especially from a boss fight, as your free reward, is going to help you out way more than a passive item would. You know, you need guns to beat the game, right? You got to shoot things. So, I think that is generally the way you want to go. And in order to gun force, that means you can't open any chests, which is then why I pick the hunter most times, or at least I recommend, because the crossbow is, at the very least, it's okay at killing bosses. Is it great? Nah, there's better items. But first floor is pretty manageable. So the dog actually sniffs out mimics if there is one, but I make it a habit of shooting a chest once just to make sure. We can also, with a non-starting one, so not this one, the crossbow or any other gun, uh, check for secret rooms, especially in item rooms. Um, I mean, it can't really be there, not enough space. But shoot the walls. If the crack appears, um, you know, there's a secret room there, you can use a blank. If you do happen to find a secret room like that, do not use your blank immediately. Blanks are far more valuable um, on the boss fight. And getting the secret room, sometimes there's not even anything relevant in there, so I would definitely just wait on that, even if you do find one. Um, but anyways, back to gun forcing. So if you don't pick up a gun, it's going to make your life a little harder, at least for, especially for the first floor, but it's going to be worth it in the long run to get... Um, a guaranteed weapon. Plus, this builds off the fact that you actually can know what's inside chests to a degree. We'll talk about this a little later. So, on every floor, there's two chests that drop, right? You don't know what the rarity is necessarily, but there's two that drop guaranteed in their item rooms. One of those chests is always going to be a gun, and one of those chests is always going to be not a gun. It could be a passive, it could be an active, whatever, but it's not going to be a gun. So, Brown chests, the lowest tier of chests, right, are pretty garbage overall in terms of guns. The sling is like okay, but other than that, there's there's pretty much a bunch of garbage in them. It's not really worth it to get a gun out of a brown chest most of the time. They're, they're really just not that good. However, passive and active items from brown chests are really, really good. They're things like free HP upgrades, speed upgrades, uh, like potions of invincibility, right? Things that like are actually pretty freaking good. So if you can, for example, you find a, a super good gold chest, you open it. It's got a really good gun in it. Hooray. That means the other chest, even if it's a brown chest, will have a passive or active. And that means you might consider actually opening that. Um, it could definitely, oh baby. It could definitely be worth it um, to get like something like an HP upgrade, right? So, you know, that also works in the reverse. If you find a gold chest or black chest and it has a passive item in it, and then your other chest is a brown chest, you might want to skip it because it's probably gonna be a shit tier gun anyways. You know, if you're low on keys, if you have plenty, sure, open it up, there's no reason not to. But if you're low on keys, you can save a little bit by, by employing that logic. 
So building off that, if we do gun force here, we're guaranteed, okay, here's the boss, to get two weapons. One of these chests will have a gun in it, and the boss will give us a gun. So hopefully we can flawless this boss, um, only with the crossbow. All right, we got the trigger twins here. Going for early flawlesses is pretty freaking essential. Um, obviously the first four bosses are some of the easiest. And who... It gives you the best chance to start your run off strong, right? If you get that free HP. Let's just use a blank there. Watch out, bro. Don't shoot me. Don't like being pinched in like this. Oh, baby. We got we got rammed. All right, that's a bummer. Whatever. Makes me look bad, but it's fine. Um, obviously, if you can get the first floor flawless, it's super essential. If you can't, it's okay. Um, at the very least, you're going to be getting a gun and... Although HP is super important, obviously, if you don't have, you know, a ton, it's it's not a big deal. Um, there's plenty of other ways to get HP. But let's finish him off there. It's kind of a bummer that I took a hit, but, you know, we, we move, we move. Still have a very good chance to beat the game, so we'll pick this up. I actually love this gun, the membrane. Um, so now that we've done everything here, we picked up a key from the boss, which is uh, fortunate, definitely. It's time to open some chests. Now... I did open up this secret room here. If you don't know what this is, um, it's a, excuse me, a path to a secret floor. If you have, if you got lucky with key drops, it is definitely worth it to go down to this floor. It's a whole nother floor. You get at least two, three uh, new items, and it's generally always going to be worth your time um, or resources. I don't have, I didn't get too many key drops. I, I kind of want to open both these chests. If it's a green chest and above, it's, it's usually pretty good, so... I'm not going to be going there, but I would recommend, if you can make it happen, definitely do it. It's always going to be worth your time and resources. Um, but let's open this up. Okay, we got the AK-47, which is kind of insane. Okay, it doesn't work on that. But I'm pretty sure this gun can open up chests. Yep. <laughs> so that's really huge. All right, we got the turtle, space turtle. Also a pretty good companion. I kind of am going to switch my, uh, what I just said. Since we got the A key, I'm absolutely going to buy a key so that we can go down to the Oubliette. Um, because although this doesn't unlock the keys on the floor, this is literally every chest is now free, which is pretty insane. Um, yeah, so let's just do that. If you have any blanks left over, you know, we checked for secret rooms. We didn't find it. Um, usually what I do for secret rooms is check the item rooms. If it's not in there, I just yeet one in the store and hope you get lucky. It's kind of hard to find secret rooms in this game compared to something like Isaac. They're kind of unpredictable, but it's a good place to start is to look at um, the item rooms, definitely. They're there more often than not. So down we go. Floor one down. Didn't get the flawless. Kind of hurts a little, not going to lie, um, but should be all right. So uh, we're going to use the membrane here. This is one of my favorite guns, definitely. I think it's really cool. Um, it's pretty decent as well. Oh, baby. So you see right there, I just bobbed and weaved through the all the bullets there. If I dodged, there was almost guaranteed that I would take a hit, right? Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just a good idea to, to get used to that and get comfortable with the motion in this game. I mean, we don't really need this, but I'll take it. Um, now, the oubliette here, oh, please no, is generally quite a bit harder than the second floor, and especially during the first, uh, especially the first floor. Wow, we're getting crazy good luck. I mean, again, sure. So, be prepared to, to take some hits. Maybe have some stressful rooms on the... Oh, that guy just killed himself. Wow. On the oubliette. But it's going to be worth it. And going back to the second floor after beating this floor, it it's, it's crazy. It feels so easy after doing the oubliette. So, I definitely recommend that. Let's just wait here. Fire some shots off. Skirt. Oh, watch out, buddy. Let's reload. Get some of these boys. All right. <clears throat> so the boss on this floor, unfortunately, does not give a flawless bonus. We are going to gun force again. It's really just the first floor that you, you feel the pain the most. Oh, God, this guy hit all of them, please. Um, that you feel the pain of not opening any chests. This guy is, needs to stop, bro. All right, get him out of here. Once you have a couple weapons, it becomes a lot easier to deal with the boss without just using the crossbow. Um, 
Another quick tip, I did it on the last room. I'm not sure if anyone really noticed. Flipping tables is good, obviously, because it makes cover for you, but it actually works like a mini blank. Um, if you're, if the bullets are pretty close to the table, it does a very small blank effect, and it can be used as kind of, let's see, watch this. Okay, well, that was so dumb. But in theory, see, it got rid of that bullet. You can use it to kind of deflect some bullets that are close to you, even if you don't want to use it as direct cover. So getting the spaceman, the space turtle here is pretty good. He's not game breaking, but he does. Oh, thanks, dog. Give him a pet, you know? Good boy. Um, he just kind of gets in the fray of things and starts blowing up. Uh, we'll, we'll fight the boss. I think we'll use the A key. Now, I don't want to use all of the ammo because it's actually free keys. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, yeah, so anyways, the, the turtle bro, he just... He's just helpful, you know, he, he gets in the fray and he starts, he messes up uh, just those enemies that kind of, oh god, oh god, kind of get in your way and kind of ruin, hit you from the back or whatever other random, you need to get out of here, bro, why, why are you in the corner like this? Alright, we're playing pretty badly here, not gonna lie, this is probably a pretty terrible tips video, no, don't go away, but um, it, it's, a, it's a testament to the fact that Early game damage like this doesn't really matter that much. Like, the flaw... Okay, again, you can't flawless this guy, so that's why I wasn't really too worried about using my blanks. Um, let's get this. Early game damage you make up pretty pretty quickly. Um, got the Beholster gun, which is pretty good, actually. So now that we guaranteed got a gun, we can open our other chest, which we'll do in a bit. Let's get the membrane out. Oh, you. Interesting. Um, wait, hold up. Does this work on... Get finessed. I don't even think I've ever had the A key. We'll take this. I'm not going to go to the secret floor this uh, entails, but it's free armor. Might as well pick it up. Um, lost my train of thought. There. Okay, we got a brown chest. Let's get this open. Okay, cigarettes. Interesting. So cigarettes are a trade-off. They hurt you, but they increase your coolness, which makes it so that you can get more item drops, which is kind of interesting. I kind of like the idea of using that a few times. Especially if we have spare HP. It's a pretty good item. I know we picked up a bit of HP and put it in our, our bank thing. So that could be definitely good. Um, Alright, these guys scare me. The veterans, those are like... Because uh, they, they aim where you're going instead of where you are. Get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy out of here. There we go. Nice, so we have a half heart, so we will definitely, once we finish everything, we'll use the cigarettes a couple times to boost our coolness. Okay, Ring of Mimic Friendship. Not big on that. They do have a key for sale, but we just do not need it. Shoot these guys. So, the the crest lets you get to another secret floor um, through ways I will try not to spoil. It's pretty much, unlike the Oubliette, it's like never worth your time to really go there. That floor is kind of hard, kind of difficult to make happen. Just because you need to keep the, the crest, right? Um, but, you know, if you really want to go, I, I think, it, I think it, it makes your your life harder than it needs to be. Again, in the end, you just gotta, you just gotta get good. The Dark Souls saying, you know, um, there is stuff that you can learn and get better at, but there is a lot of it that just kind of comes down to being good. So let's see here now. Um, let's open our green chest. Don't want to forget about that. Get our A key out. Okay, so we got the Predator gun, which is pretty good, I think. I've only had it a couple times. I don't really remember. Um, do we want anything from the store? I don't think so. We could buy armor. Not really relevant. Let's see. How much... Uh, oh, we can't even use it. Let's, let's pop... Oh, it uses armor. Fuck. Honestly, whatever. We're still going to use it. Um because we have, okay, there we go. Um, we will buy one armor, I think, just for the hell of it. I thought, honestly, I thought the cigarettes just went straight through to your HP, but whatever. Um, and we should actually look for our secret room. So I didn't shoot any of the walls. Let's get uh, the crossbow out here. Not there, probably not here either. Um, where's the other item room? Down here, we could look the crest room as well. Probably not right here. What about up here? No, okay. Let's pop down this way. 
This guy gives you money for HP, which also could be nice. Okay, it's not in here. So at this point, like I say, I usually just come and eat it in the shop. It doesn't work. And then after that, I just pick a room I think might have it. Like, I don't know, maybe this room. Nope. That's okay. All right, so we're going to move on now. And like I said, after you do the oubliette, it's a challenge. You know, a lot of more difficult enemies than first and second floor. Coming back to this floor, it, it's definitely quite a bit easier. Um, so I'm sure it's been figured out, but you generally want to have a room clearing weapon and then a boss killing weapon. We don't have anything too crazy for boss killing. Um, there's some that are, you know, super obviously inclined for that such as missile launchers, you know, big heavy lasers like the railgun. Things that have less ammo but more damage, right, are way better for bosses. Um, we have plenty, of, we have a lot of good guns. Nothing too crazy for bosses, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Let's just let this guy finish spazzing out here. There we go. Ammo, nice. I'll actually take that on this gun. Um, okay, that's where we... Okay, never mind. Get that guy out of here. We got more. Okay. Good stuff. So hopefully we can find some surplus HP to use the cigarettes on. Because boosting coolness uh, boosts your item drops. And that is obviously a good thing. Look at that. We're, we got ammo. We got a key. We're already sitting pretty, pretty good here. So if you do get the cigarettes by chance, obviously... You know, a roguelike like this, it's kind of hard for me to give tips on certain things, right? Because you're probably not going to get these things most runs. But cigarettes are... Oh, nice. We have a... Whatever he's called. All right, let's just take cover behind here real quick. Wait for him to unpop and then lay into him. There we go. He's down. Um, so those guys, the lead maidens right there that I just killed, they are one of the hardest uh, noob killing. Or like one of the most difficult enemies for noobs, definitely. Uh, let's check this guy out. What, do you, what is your challenge? Using uh, the nothing but the nail gun. All right, that's fine. I will do it. Should not be too bad. What do we got in here? Oh, baby. Get him out of here. Now, the nail gun is garbage, but that's the whole point of the challenge. Oh, and we're good. Easy money. Let's talk to this guy, get a reward, our money back. And what did he give us? Chaos amulet. Okay, it's not terrible. It's not great. Um, amulets are kind of just meh. Pretty sure this cloaks you or some shit, doesn't it? Oh yeah, damn, this thing is kind of insane actually for room clearing. Um, okay, I've been using my other guns. I would honestly recommend using the crossbow for the second floor. I have a lot of guns at this point, but the crossbow is more than capable of dealing with the second floor. Uh, excuse me. And after the second floor, it's pretty much irrelevant. So you may as well get your ammo out of it um, and do what has to be done. See ya. We got. Yeah, it falls off pretty pretty quick, but you can get some good use out of it um, and save ammo on your better guns. A trick with the crossbow is when you fire, just double click or like essentially just mash the, the shoot button because that way it reloads immediately as you. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's save that, um, and that allows you to shoot it way way faster. Okay. Oh, see, there's our secret room. So, I could go in there, I could use a blank. I'd rather save my blanks for the boss, just in case I need them. Um, it's probably going to get more value out. Okay, we have a gun muncher. We have the coin crown, which I think is kind of good. I don't remember exactly what it does. I think it gives you more coins or something. Uh, I could be tempted to gun munch, depending on what else we get after the boss. So, let's uh, continue onwards here. So... Instead of dodging through the red shotgun's bullets, I just weaved around. It's very helpful. Get that. Oh, uh, let's take that. So this ammo drop obviously gives you ammo. It gives you half ammo on whatever gun you pick, and all your other guns I think get a quarter ammo. So for example, taking it on this would be foolish, um, but I could take it on this. It would fill me up, and then um, all my other guns would get some more ammo, which is good stuff. Let's mess this guy up quickly before he shoots. Well, that was some great aim from me. Skirt. Okay. Get this guy. Looks like we're good. Do, do, do. Let's take these. 
these boys out. Now, second floor bosses, I think the Amoconda is definitely the hardest. Um, if you do get him, just be be prepared. I think the Gorgon is the easiest, in my opinion. Alright, we already found our secret room, so not to worry. But it's up to personal preference, you know. Some things just different people's brains get better than others. Um, okay, that's done. Let's go up. Is this the boss? Yep. Okay. So let's fight the boss with We can we can try well let's try the the predator actually to be honest i'm not entirely sure okay we got the amaconda how much damage is doing honestly pretty okay um it's a lot harder fighting the, oh i forgot you get yeah you do get stealth if you run out of ammo or like you reload fully it's a lot harder fighting these bosses um oh <laughs> while talking okay let's just keep it up here Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. We're going. We're going here. Let's get out of the corner. Do not come for me, please. Let's just use a blank because I can't really see him. Stop. Okay, the problem with the Predator is it auto-targets these stupid things. I would like to just target the snake himself. Please go away. All right, got him. That's a good fight. Um, so we didn't really have a super good boss killer. Um, there's a lot of better ones out there, but okay, so much HP. I don't want to compromise my armor, but I'm probably gonna do it for the coolness. Um, so yeah, we don't have a great boss killer. You know, things that lock on. I mean, I guess okay, yeah, the predator locks on, but I mean like missile launcher type things. So hopefully we can get one of those from one of these chests. We do have pretty good luck in terms of rarity. Uh, we also saved a blank, so we can go in here. We've got. A, another oh it's so nice not having to worry about this okay we got this thing which is pretty good oiled cylinder reload faster um what do we take ammo on here i guess the predator uh let's get this open okay nice the deck hard and in here is going to be a passive or not a gun rather i guess is the way to say it okay the beret so, kind of useless. I mean, we have unlimited keys pretty much, but, you know, whatever. Let's go to the gun muncher. I think I could definitely be convinced to drop some stuff off. On it? Ah, I don't know, though. We have a lot of good guns. I think the Deckard... Okay, the Deckard is good. So, the way the gun muncher works, right? You put two guns in, you get one back. Um... Initially, it's tempting to be like, I'm going to put my crossbow in and my other garbage guns, right? However, it works that it gives you a tier bit, uh, gun of the tier, relatively at least, of what you put in. So if you put in two garbage guns, you're probably going to get like a kind of garbage gun also. But if you put in two really good guns, you're probably going to get a good one. So although the, the deck card is okay, it's pretty good. It was in a gold chest, right? I think I can get a better weapon um, that I would actually use more. So I'm going to put that in and probably the crossbow because the crossbow is pretty much irrelevant at this point. We're gonna hope for the best. I have enough guns that I'm confident I won't need the deck art. I'm not gonna be like, damn, I missed it. So we got we got the, the vertebrae K47, which I think is way better than the deck art. Um, and pretty good for bosses. So I'm, I'm very happy with that decision. Um, that's definitely something I would consider. Do we need anything? I think we buy this just because, um, you know, play well, get money. Be able to buy a ton of stuff. And let's kind of destroy our HP right now. It's questionable to get rid of our armor, but I think it's gonna be I think it's going to be good. You know, we'll probably be able to get hopefully more chests. Let's pop this. <clears throat> pop this. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much we had in here. Let's just go a bit more. Okay, one more. And is that it? That's it. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. We could buy. I think we're all right. So getting our coolness up like that is probably going to be a, a pretty good decision. Getting rid of the armor is, you know, whack, but I think that's going to be okay. And down to the third floor we go. Pretty happy with how this is going. Still bummed about the trigger twins, but hey, man, you win some, you lose some, you know. I was not expecting to get charged by Smiley. So we're not going to be using the vertebrae K. I think we'll go back to... The Predator is pretty good for room clearing, to be honest. So I think we use it here. Like, it literally tracks on to enemies. 
Okay, nice. Nice, nice. And you can kind of like stand behind cover and shoot them. Yeah, this thing's pretty goaded, not gonna lie. Skirt! Get this guy out of here. Alright, we got a key from the Master of Unlocking. We'll just take ammo on this. We're pretty much uh, capped out on ammo. And I have... Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be getting a lot. Okay, this guy's being dumb. Please kill Cthulhu. Got him. Okay, take him out. All right, so we have uh, one of these. These are kind of rare. Uh, I don't remember... Just gives you curse or something? No, you have to be cursed to go in, right? Okay, that was foolish. Kind of forgot what that does. Oh, Jesus. My God. All right, take this guy out. Take him out. Take our heart. Why, why do that, Jack? You know what? That was just absolutely foolish of me. All right. Take this guy out. Stealth for a second. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, we got the wolf. All right, you got to find the real wolf. Uh, where is he? Probably in the corner somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's trying to go. There we go. Okay, you're just like fully stealth, I guess. Till. Uh, this is what I love about this game. I literally have hundreds of hours, and I still... There's, like, weapons and items and stuff and synergies that I just haven't really used before. So much content in this game. All right, the Gungeon Ant is kind of bad. Oh, we could steal. In fact, I am going to steal a heart. Because it gives me curse, but stealing one thing... Um, doesn't... It, okay, if you st manage to steal, if you get lucky enough to have an item that lets you steal... It gives you curse, but the first one is always free. You'll never get caught. After that, um, he has, like, a, I think a 50% chance to catch you or, or something like that. So it's kind of sus. But uh, gives you a free item, pretty much. Nice. We can save that. Ammo. Uh, again, just take it on this, I guess. It's doing pretty good work. All right, boss. Let's get the A key or the vertebrae key. Vertebrae. I love the name. Vertebrae K47. All right. So, let's hope for the best. Okay, good. Wow. First run of the day. Just making excuses at this point. Once you get hit, I wouldn't say don't use blanks, but if you do get hit, your blanks are more suited to finding the secret room, um, I would say. You know, you're probably going to get more value out of that than just surviving one hit. All right, you need to go, bro. Skirt. That's pretty sus. I hate that you're in the way. Alright, well, the tank is down. Could have played that a lot better. Um, although the vertebrae K47 is, like, okay. It's pretty good for bosses. We haven't really gotten a good boss. Oh, well, this is an amazing boss killing item. Um, like that yet. So... Although I've been playing kind of bad, I do, uh, you know. It's not all my fault. Kind of been struggling here. All right, but we're doing good, definitely. Let's try to take these guys out. Uh, you. Okay, get him out of here. Honestly, just let him do it. They don't even know where I am. Shoot. Oh, he. Oh, whoa, he gets stealth too. That's so sick. Oh, I didn't know that. I was like, why is he not shooting? Very cool stuff. See ya. Alright, what do we got here? Small room. Okay. Let's continue. Down here. Alright. Let's open this up. Get the Void Marshal, which is pretty okay. Did we, we didn't find our secret room, so let's look for it. Uh, we haven't even found our other room yet. Let's get our predator back out. Get him out of here. 
actually on a hunt to kill these things right now, so. Like, look, I can just, wow. Well, I can shoot like this and hit him. All right, he's down. See you. Okay, another half heart, nice. Okay, okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Only getting one flawless this run is, is heartbreaking, for sure. I don't predict it will matter, um, to be honest. Hit him with a little of that. Get our turtle to take him out. Start shooting these guys. Alright, wand stone, nice. Let's see, what do we got in our chest here? Alright, table tech shotgun. Kind of bad, but most of the table techs are kind of bad. I would say, generally. Um, let's save that, I guess. Alright. Excuse my neck. Had a kink in it. Alright, we got another gun muncher, eh? I don't know if we need to. I think we have some pretty good guns. Uh, I don't think it would give us anything... Wor like, it might give us something also okay, but I think we have good enough guns to not worry about it. Um, is there by chance a secret room here? There's not. What about in the gun muncher room? Uh, let's use something kind of irrelevant, like the Void Marshal. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, the shop, I guess, could have it up here. I don't know. No? Uh, what about in here? Sometimes it's in here. No? Alright, where could it be then? I mean, we could go in this room now. I don't remember what it does. Should we try it? I mean, fuck it. We'll try it. This is like, I've only seen this room probably like five times the entire time I've played. I know you need curse, but I have curse now. Yeah. Oh, the black market. All right, so we have a shit ton of money. That's awesome. Oh, wow, I actually got an achievement. I guess I've never done that. I knew what it did, and I've just never done it. Okay. Elder Blank, really good. Monster Blood, I really want. You... Uh, we have so many keys, so we may as well. Okay, this is this is good stuff. And you're here. Oh, baby. All right. So we that costs 67. So we'll have 100 left. I really want Gundramata Strain. It's really good. Weakens all enemies. I want this as well. That's only 16. It gives us curse, yes. The Owl. Elder Blank's 46. We could definitely afford that. And these are all keys. So here's what we do, all right? Here's what we do. I think we eat the, the cigarettes for Daruma. It's really good. Um, we don't need keys for anything. Ring of Chest Friendship is like kind of irrelevant. Mimic Tooth Necklace is good, but I just don't need it because I have the A key. We buy this, definitely. We buy Monster Blood, which is cursed, but it is good. And then we have, we can't afford Elder, or I mean, we can't buy Elder Blank because we have Daruma. That's okay though. Uh, with 84, do we buy the owl? It's spot on. We might have to. Spice, scary. Not not big on that. Might as well, honestly. Buy the owl for what it's worth, and I think we're good. So Daruma is a really good item. It's pretty much infinite free blanks. Oh, this guy's here. God damn it! I don't have any money. Oh, I would have loved to do that. Whatever. It's fine. Awesome. Okay. That was a success. Let's get the hell out of here. We have a blank left, actually, so we should try to use it, I guess. Maybe, uh... Dude, I don't know. This room up here? Nope. All right, now we get out of here. So we can't use our HP because we needed the cigarettes. That's fine. Our coolness is pretty pogged up. Um, shouldn't be a problem. Down to the fourth floor we go. What will we find? Nobody knows. Uh, getting the stinger, though, is actually really good. You really want a boss weapon. It's going to make our life quite a bit easier. We're still one-banging the uh, regular bulletkin, so that's good. Oh, yeah, so the way Daruma works is if you dodge through bullets, you can just blank. Which is really good. Uh, it does have a small recharge time, but that's pretty irrelevant. It pretty much means, and it stuns them. Oh, no, that's actually my amulet. Never mind. Pretty much means that whenever you dodge, you can just blank also. Oh, God. 
Getting some jammed enemies, which is, you know, par for the course since we're... Oh, the owl occasionally blanks, and it synergizes with the amulet. Oh, baby. This run is pogging out of its gourd. So this is what I'm saying. We got one flawless on this run, which is unfortunate, right? Look at that. I ran right into him, and I'm fine. We have 5 HP, though, thanks to Monster Blood, and we're doing great. So, flawlessing the bosses, while definitely, definitely important, should we try shotgun here? Skirt! Um, is not really, you know, as long as you're, I, it sounds like super whack to say, if you're good, you don't need HP, right? HP is only as good as, like, the last one, right? As long as you have one, you're fine. All right, you are not summoning the skeleton, please. Shoot him. Okay, I don't know, our turtle's out of here. We're getting lots of keys, don't need them. Hit the dynamite, please, nice. Alright, this guy, he's gotta go. There we go. Get stunt, Bro, the owl plus the chaos amulet. I talked shit about it earlier, bro. The amulet, it's pretty good. Okay, watch out, bro. You know what? That's fine. Should have used uh, a blank, or our during the rather. But it's okay. Getting a bit low on the Predator ammo. Hopefully we can make that happen. Our coolness stat has got to be pretty high. Um, you know. So I anticipate we'll probably find some ammo soon. We could definitely buy some as well. Oh, we have the, the, the golden crown thing. That's why we have so much money all the time. I think it just doubles your money or some shit, which is really good. Shoot him. There we go. Good job, turtle. Wow, there are a lot of jammed enemies. We have some serious curse going on. It's okay, though. Ain't no problem. All right, we got another key, which we just do not need. Eight more shots. Here's the boss. Uh, let's fight the boss right now. Just remember to use the room. Okay. The priestess, bruh. Wow. So, what happened there? I dodged through. It didn't go through a bullet, so I pressed space, and it didn't work. Pretty hurt about that. Pretty hurt about that. This guy, like, never shows up. It's always... Dude, wow, I'm so bad at this game. I don't even know if this is going on YouTube at this point. I'm embarrassing myself. Like, you may as well use it literally every time. There we go, he's down. That was an easy flawless. I'm just bad at the game, clearly. Clearly. Whatever. Again, it doesn't really matter. We're doing pretty alright. Oh, it's a Mimic. Should have checked. I never check pedestal mimics just because, like, come on, it's usually not, right? There we go, he's down. All right, we got the dragon egg, which actually hatched. I guess there was fire. Um, is there not another item? Where's the gun? I don't see it. Am I tripping? Is there a gun right here? Oh, the, the flame hand. I didn't even see it. It was blending in. All right, so we got the cell guy here. Don't really care about you. <clears throat> Let's get our gun back out. Eight shots left is not a lot, but we'll make it happen while we can. And apparently it ran out. Skirt. Did it run out? Why did it switch? Another goddamn key, eh? Alright, we got the med kit. Um, we got you. Okay. Let's pull up down here. See what we got. Switch now. Uh, we can use the beehive, I guess. It's like kind of okay, right? Got him. Another key. The, the Master of Unlocking is going off right now. What do we use on the rooms? Honestly, maybe the Membrane Ant. We can use the 8 key, I guess. I suppose. It's not really that good, I guess. It's okay. I mean, the, the, the lure of it is that it is 
literally like unlimited keys, right? Skirt. Let's just use the holster gun, I guess. I the holster. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Where's he at? There he is. There we go. Alright, he's down. Got the worm gun, I think. I don't know what it is. It's kind of silly, though. Is this a nether item room? It is. Uh, rocket bullets are good. Definitely good. Let's see. Is there a secret room anywhere around here? Anywhere around here? No. No. Okay. Let's get this back out. Got one more room here. Re what was that? Did you see that? That was some BS right there, I'll tell you what. Alright, we found ammo, which is amazing. So we can put that on you. Grab this armor as well. Alright. So we're done. This is a bizarre central area. With the no secret room being found, let's just do that. Where's the shop? Up here. Let's try it in here as well. There it is. Shop's always a good look. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much just a guan stone. So let's get the heck out of Dodge. All right, fifth floor, here we come. <clears throat> Look at that guy jump down there. What a friendly bullet. All right, getting ammo on the uh, Predator is good stuff. Okay, I do not like that this guy is trying to summon a Skelly. I don't think there's much we can do. All right, he's down quickly. Shoot him while he's in skull form. Yeah, so if you kill the mage guy who summons the skeleton, uh, the skeleton will be decommissioned temporarily. God damn it, another one. Shoot him! All right, we got him, I think, just in time. Just hit that. He's trying it. He do be trying it. All right. We gotta use Daruma more, man. Unbelievable. We're stealth. It's fine. Good job, Al. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue. We have so much money. Another key. God damn it, we have 10 keys. Have you guys ever seen this many keys in a run? It's absurd. All right, I hate this. Oh, the owl, what a legend. This room, man, it, it, it always hurts me. Not this time, though. All right, well, we don't get a gun or anything from the boss, so we might as well just open this shit right now. Uh, I don't really care about that. You. I do not remember what the Holy Grail does. The Reload Stone is also pretty good, but I think Daruma is probably better. I would imagine. Um, let's get this back out. Wow, I'm bad. I am bad. So, um, no spoilers, but I don't think I'm going to be going to the real, real final boss just because one. Oh, get him! I don't need the key. Don't get him. I don't care. Um, because I don't want to spoil it, for one, and for two, it's it's going to make the video even longer for anyone who's even watching, right? Um, dude, fuck this thing, bro. The key, oh, we actually somehow got the key, I guess. All right, mini boss. That means stinger. I th Honestly, it doesn't mean stinger. It means bees, I think. Oops. With Daruma, we can probably make it happen here. Just 
hit him with that. We're already charged up again. There we go. Easy money. The bees are pretty good. All right, we got... It's not a mimic dog, no. All right, snowballer is kind of garbage, but, you know, it was free, I guess. So let's get... Uh, where is it? Here. This back out. I see you there. Don't don't target the cube. Don't do it. Don't target the cube. Oh, get him out of here. Daruma is not charged up. Okay, that was pretty lucky. Worked out. Worked out. <clears throat> So I'm dodging, dodge rolling way more than I normally do just because I have Daruma. Makes it pretty damn easy, I would say. Take this guy out. There we go. Get him out of here. Him out of here. Let's continue. Where's the boss? Right here? Yep. Wow, that's a crazy looking floor. All right, we should get the rest. Um, we could probably, we could definitely, by probably, I mean definitely beat the boss as is. Um, but... I like to explore the whole floor, you know? You never know. Find something cool. Hate this room, by the way, but luckily we're, we're doing pretty all right here. Key. Not helpful. 13 fucking keys. Okay, Druma did not pop there. That's fine. Okay. The owl's trying to uh, fuck me over here, man. Blank. I mean, I'll take it. Okay. Okay, and we have the hexagon that we could steal. I mean, probably not a good look. I don't. We, we have so much money. Yeah, I don't. Hold up. Just, just un, 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 un stealth. Homing bullets. We'll take that. With forty-two left, we can buy armor. Uh, honestly, how how much is this? The stinger should be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine with ammo. Just get that. Um, Let's continue, get our gun back out. Should have just enough ammo to finish this floor off. Oh baby, that is a curse, man. That's what I was looking for. Get him out of here. Okay, got money, I guess. Uh, I thought we had shotgun, but I guess not. All right, let's switch up to, maybe we could just use this, I guess. And then, we got plenty of guns, so I'm not, not concerned. Where you at, bro? Take him out. Uh, we got a chest. I mean, dude, just open it, bro. Ah, oh, the boxing glove. Honestly, uh, nope, not that. Oops. Uh, what's it, F? There we go. We, we don't need that. The rat can have that. It's just gonna give me more curse and I don't need it. It's also like really hard to use a lot of times. So. Just, just bad. Just bad. All right, ammo. Uh, let's take it on our predator. I think that'll be helpful. Also gives us a bit on our stinger as well. Won't need all that ammo for sure. Oh, we got a map man in there. You don't see him too often these days. Who else is a lot? You. There we go. More HP, which is not too helpful. Uh, uh, hold up. God damn it. We haven't even explored the whole floor. Just gotta get a couple more rooms here, then we can get a free item from him. Get stunned, guys. Ow! Woke up quick from that one. Alright, and our item room is... Green chest with the shot bow. 
Okay, let's get our free item from this guy. We got five blanks, which is awesome. Here's the completed map. Gives us the jetpack. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 go back. No, you bitch. Holy fuck. <laughs> the teleporter finessed me. Um, let's grab our HP. Oh, is it not in here? Is there even, oh, it's probably uh, back here. There we go. And let's take the final boss on. He is down, way down here. This is quite the long, like, literally long. Not time-wise. Okay, let's get the stinger out. We've got Daruma. We also have homing bullets, which is cool. So, here we go. Not that this guy moves much. Alright, we'll just keep Daruma alive for when he does some dumb shit like this. Wow. It's kind of, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't work sometimes. Like, I, I pressed it space again there, and it didn't work. I don't know, man. Whatever. We have guaranteed beat this guy, so I'm not worried. But. Whoa. Yeah, so I, I honestly played pretty terribly on this run. But, as you can see by exhibits such as that. But it goes to show you that, you know, you can still win even if you don't get all the flawlesses or, or whatever. Um, it's not all over, you know. <clears throat> I only, I think I only got one flawless, right? It's kind of embarrassing for someone who claims to be a pro like me. But, no problem. Thanks, Owl. Doesn't really help me, but thanks. Dodge through this. Oh, fuck, I accidentally switched weapons. Use the bees. Did not mean to do that. Kind of, kind of butchered that one, but it's all good. At this point, we can just like blank. <laughs> we don't even have to roll. If we wanted. Come on, there we go. He's down. And there is the high dragon defeated. Um, I, I realized I didn't really say, <laughs> give any tips or anything after like the first two floors, but that's uh, it's definitely a complete run right there. You know, if you abide by some of the things I said earlier, you're gonna have a lot more success. There's not as much to be said about this game because like I said, a lot of it comes down to just practice, right? Um, but if you keep it up, I, I again, I was so bad at this game. I was literally, when it first came out, I was so bad. Um, they've added a ton of good items that make the game a much better experience. It was a completely different game when it first came out. But I've improved a lot, and you can too. It's it's just practice. There's a lot to learn, and there's a lot to love in this game. It, it's definitely one of my favorites. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, let me know if you have any questions or you want to see more gameplay of this or anything. But, yeah, that was it. Enter the Gungeon. Completed run. We have played terribly, but made it happen. Thumbs up for me. Alright, see you guys.